Hi guys, in this video tutorial I want to show you how I put together this little, um, what I'm calling a mini milk carton pendant parade sampler box, a, a big mouthful for something quite so small. But I just want to quickly show you how I put um, both the little mini milk carton box um, here together as well as quickly how I have done some of these um, little pennant parade stamp um, and matching petite pennant builder punch images together. Now this one's already on my blog and people can see photos of it and I just wanted to um, do a quick video on how I put some of these images together. Now some uh, ideas that I came up with, others are uh, ideas that I've seen in um, out there in blog land and a lot of people have done lots of different things with this gorgeous um, pennant stamp set and the matching punch and I just wanted to put them all in a little sampler book. Girls in my stamp club created this one with an image on each of these little concertinas and on the back is a list of um, punches that were used for each one. So quickly show you how to put this one together. Okay first the mini milk carton um, box basically it's just the mini milk carton die um, run through the um, big shot and I'm going to put a little um, pennant on the front I've just used the dotty um, border in Concord Crush with a melon mambo hello on the front and stick this little pennant on um, the designer series paper. The designer series paper I used for this entire project is the Cheerful Treats which is the free hostess um, one in the current catalogue and I am totally uh, in love with it. I think it's fabulous. So all I do, um, it is a little bit easier if you um, put your um, pennant on the front of your milk carton before you put it together but it certainly can be done afterwards like the girls on Wednesday night we put it on afterwards it's a little bit tricky to get your fingers into the milk carton but you can do it so all I did is um, put it on the what I know is going to be the front panel of the milk carton a couple of gold brads in there turn it over open the brads out then it's just simply a matter of placing um, some sticky strip on the tab edge of your um, milk carton, which is right here. And assembling your milk carton. And the good thing about this project is that you don't have to worry about doing all the little tiny folds at the top of the milk carton, which usually form the spout. There's only one other bit of sticky strip on this project and that's on one of the bottom flaps to hold the bottom of the box together. So we do sticky strip along here, take that off, put your milk carton together like that. Done. And then I just like to fold two side flaps in the back and then hold it with one final piece of sticky strip to hold the milk carton together. Okay, box bottom done. The top is just made by a piece of uh, Melamembo cardstock cut at 4 and 5 eighths by 4 and 5 eighths, scored at 1 and a half inches on all four sides. And as you can see, I've made um, a couple of cuts to make the side flaps of the box. All I'm actually going to do. Um, to make it all fit together a little bit neater is mitre a couple of the corners like this and you'll see why I do this in a second. It's nice to do it on all your boxes but this particular lid has a reason why we must do this. Helps if you cut right into the corners like that. Much nicer. And the last one there. Now I'm going to use a slip punch which is actually retired from stamping up but I just can't let my slip punch go because I think it's absolutely fabulous. If you don't have a retired slip punch, um, no problems, you can just um, cut out a small section uh, on the top of your box but all I do is, the slip punch makes it so simple, place it in there, punch that side out and the other side, punch it out like that until you've got something that looks like that then all you need to do is they should fold flat 
square. <coughs> Fold the side pieces in of the box. And again, <coughs> on that side, that, just need some snail, like that. Get your milk carton, place said lid on the top, fold your sides under and secure them down so like that so I know that they fit on both sides, beautiful, take it off and your last two pieces um, get adhered down flat and I'll quickly show you how to do that. And the other edge. And then I've now because we've mited those out, you'll see that when our whole our slit in the top you can't see the cardstock underneath, which is exactly what we want. Okay. So then I just got a piece of designer series paper. It's about one and a half inches wide and seven inches long. And that gets wrapped all the way around the top of your um, mini mill carton and a deer down and then basically you get your length of whoop, length of um, ribbon thread it up through the two slots there and there and if you tie a couple of little knots in the top like that one two and do that on both sides um, your little drawstring won't pull pull back through the through your lid so then your lid will look like this one with two strings coming through it and little knots on the top okay so that's basically your box created next we've got a piece of cardstock that is uh, three and a quarter inches tall by ten and a half scored every one and a half inches to get these little concertinas now on each concertina is where I'm going to put one of each of the um, images I've already gone ahead and stuck the instructions on the back of this one except for this last one here because on this last one before you stick the instructions on I've just got a little length of ribbon um, that I use to tie the concertina images together so that just gets stuck on that last panel and then the instructions sit over the top like that. Okay, so that's the boring bits, that's the box. Let's